Hello once again, this is Mr. Pete. Welcome back to Studio B. This is episode number 93A of my What Is It? Mystery Tool series. I went to an auction just a week ago and these two items were purchased at that time. This one's been around for a while from John DeRosa. But anyway, they're numbered 1, 2, 3, so let's begin with number 1, and I do not know what it is. You may recall that one week ago I went to a big auction and I bought a huge box of calipers and this was one of them and it, I, I guess it is a caliper of sorts but what is the purpose of it? It's so different than any caliper I have ever seen. Now if you know what any of these items are and you want to give a guess, funny or real, put it down in the comments and I'll always use the number because we don't really know what it is. Maybe you do. But it is marked right here, but it's very, very hard to read. I had to use a magnifying glass, and it says Davis Expansion Boring Tool Company, St. Louis, Missouri. So that's the maker. It looks pretty old. This is not in very good condition, but by loosening this, you know, it's really nicely made with that big nobulated deal on the end, but that will, of course, tighten it. But the unusual thing is that on this end there are some rollers and I assume these are just seized. Maybe I need to free them up a little bit. So they would roll. And the interesting part is this. You can loosen that and move this back and forth. Now right here there is or there are graduations. Now you can't see those at all. Nor can I. Maybe you can if I get the light just right. But I found a picture on the internet. No cheating now. And I will put that picture on there right now so you can better see what that does or what how it reads. And that can be adjusted. But when you do that, and I'm making the adjustment now, you don't. There's not a real big movement right there. But you can see there's a pivot point here with a nut. I think that might be brat. No, I guess it's steel. But what is this for? Most unusual and rather intricate. And the overall length of it is, if I can find my ruler here, approximately 10 inches. What is item one? Not many people watch that auction video, so I'll put on the screen right now the name of the video if you want to see where I found these. It was really a great auction. So this is number two. Now on the back side it tells the name of the manufacturer and the patent number, but I don't want you to see that. But take a look here. we got some graduations on that side, and this is in pretty good condition. And graduations on this side. and. A, that must be a man's name or a company's name there along with the number 36. There's a little lock right here and a thumb deal. Well, it's a little too tight. I guess I can use that. But what? So you see, that slides back and forth almost like a slide rule from one set of graduations, I guess, to the other. Looks like it's chrome plated too. But these two can be separated, as you can see here. So I don't know if you're supposed to use this end to do whatever you're doing with it, or would it be this end? I know some of you are going to cheat and find this picture on the internet, and that's fine. It's fun for you too. I want this to be fun for people. But I was rather smitten with this when I found this at the bottom of the boxes. I've never seen one, and I just think it's really a neat looking tool, whatever it is for. So, put your answer down in the comments. Thanks to John DeRosa, who sent me a bunch of things last August, and I haven't put any of them on yet. But here's a tool, and I covered up the name of the company. Now looking at it from the bottom, you can see that that's a little abrasive wheel. Now I believe there's a crank handle missing because this would not be used under power, I don't think. I think you just crank this. Because 
What I do know what this does, but you don't want to take off too much, I, I will tell you that. So that's why I'm saying it's probably hand uh, operated rather than uh, machine operated. I don't know if this hole is to bolt it down or to hold it in a vise or to hang it up or all three. Kind of a nice sand casting aluminum base on it. It's in perfect condition but the wheel isn't so it's obviously been used and there's a couple of stops here and the fact that you can see a radius that's been put on here by whatever they were doing might be a clue for some of you that are astute observer. So what is item three? Thank you for watching and I will put the answers on part B in approximately a week from today. Thank you for watching and be sure and watch my thousands of other auctions. You can find any or all of them by simply doing a Google or a YouTube search for Tubal Cain or Mr. Pete. Either one will do. So long for now.